The new football season is now well underway, as we just heard, but an old issue remains unresolved on the pitch. The lack of British Asian players. The Football Association has found that players of Indian, Bangladeshi and Pakistani heritage are underrepresented in top flight football. But why? Our sports reporter Jordan Jai Bryan has been investigating. Go. It seems to be the dream of most young boys. What do you want to be when you're older? Footballer. When you're older, what do you want to be? Uh, a footballer. I'm a footballer. I want to be a neck <laughs> Okay. But the beautiful game is failing to represent British Asians, a diverse group of people from different ethnicities, backgrounds and faiths, making the problem a difficult one to tackle. Of the 3,000 or so professional players in England, only seven are of Asian origin and only three are signed to Premier League clubs. Former Brentford player Riz Rahman runs the Grassroots Academy and is also the brother of Zesh Rahman, one of the first British Asians to play in the Premier League. You need to understand how the Asian community works as well. Like I said, it always goes back to a lack of players, but with, especially with the Muslim community, if you look at a lot of the kids when they finish school, uh, you know, half, three, four, they go straight to the mosques you know, in madrasa lessons, usually between five and seven. So when are the kids playing? So we need to start putting in place activities, sessions, could be evening times or it could be on a Saturday afternoon as well. First, second generation, I always thought it was racism, but we need to come away from racism. You know, we need to empower the kids, empower the parents. While some still point to discrimination, others say the Asian community aren't helping themselves by being too insular and playing in Asian-only leagues and not overcoming cultural barriers. Manisha Taylor is a football scout, coach, and plays in an amateur league with men. When I was growing up, the 80s and the 90s, it was there was still a massive taboo um, attached to Asians in football. We're a lot more equipped now in understanding um, different career pathways and understanding and valuing sport as a career, because I think that, that again, is another barrier is in terms of what is more valued. Traditionally, we've been uh, expected to be doctors, businessmen, pharmacists, uh, footballer, what's that? That's a hobby. So when you first started playing football, yeah. what was the response from, from your family? Um, have you done your homework yet? Um, and it was just uh, like, it's, it's a pastime. It's not really something that we would have considered as a career. It was like, you know, you want to be a footballer, astronaut, that's the same thing. So there's work being done at Grassroots and the Football Association too are doing their bit to help encourage the next generation of Asian talent. The FA have hosted a number of football forums in some of the country's largest Asian communities, including London, Sheffield, and here in the Midlands at West Bromwich Albion. 20-year-old British Pakistani striker Adil Nabi is set to make his Premier League debut with the club this season. It was the commitment from his father that kicked off his career. He changed jobs to become a taxi driver so he could take Adil and his two younger brothers to football. Evenings, raining, snowing, he was always there on the side watching us and to have that and to see that from your own father, that helped me, Rahis and Samir, a lot. What difficulties, if any at all, did you uh, encounter in trying to balance and being 100% committed to your, your faith, but also a footballer? I've had no difficulties, none at all. Um, obviously Ramadan's at, you know, Ramadan falls into pre-season, so that's really hard. But the club are very supportive and they understand totally. Obviously, you can't have no water, no food until sun goes down, sun goes up. and So they've been supportive, so it makes it a lot easier. But in terms of prayer and stuff, never gets in the way, never. Inside the forum, there was scepticism whether enough was being done. Hey, there's, there is an issue around coaching. I want to see more black and Asian coaches in professional football. We want the same pathways that you've given to these lot. Because the proof's in the pudding, because my man's already there, I don't need it there. Smashing it up. Because they searched him, they found him. There's plenty more like him. FA advisor to the forum, Brendan Batson, a former Albion star and pioneer for black football in the 70s, is aware of the pressure to get it right. There's a whole um, realm of things that we need to address. There are cultural issues, there are faith issues. I mean, it's so diverse within the Asian community. Um, so I think these consultations will hopefully bring a lot of these things to the fore. Many, many years ago, I'm talking maybe more than 20 years ago, and it still comes back to haunt me every now and again. I said I thought the black experience would have made it easier for the Asian community, the Asian youngsters to come through. Well, I've been proven totally incorrect with that. The FA and other governing bodies have set a target that 10% of referees and coaches are from black and Asian backgrounds by 2017.
but on the pitch, work continues to find the first Asian star.